Hey, it's Cycling Explorer again. Today I want to give you nine tips on how to cycle through those turbulent city streets. We've all had to do it. Um, you had to ride through downtown. It's not much fun. But uh, there's usually three types of people. Those that do it every day and they're just used to it and they kind of know what to do. Then there's people like me who spends a lot of time on the trails and still has a little bit of fear of being hit by a car. And then there's a third group where they don't even want anything to do with the city streets. They will avoid it, they will ride around in their neighborhood, but they really won't get out and explore, which is part of why I created this website in the first place. So to help you avoid uh, being trapped in your own neighborhood, for groups two and three, this video is for you. Now number one, I want you to ride well into the lane when traffic is stop and go. You can usually move at least as fast as the cars in the heavy traffic and if you hug that curb you're less visible and drivers will be tempted to squeeze by you. I know I've had that happen to me where I've gone over the right to have a little courteous the next thing you know I can't even get back into the lane. Number two, stay far enough in the traffic lane to avoid being struck if doors on parked cars suddenly fly open. You'll likely hear a few honks from motorists who just don't understand why you won't pull to the right to let them pass. Uh, but I'll tell you what, a honk in your ear actually hurts less than a door in your face. Number three, when you stop at a light, move to the center of your lane. This prevents drivers from edging forward, trapping you between them and the curb. When the light changes, accelerate to your cruise speed before moving right to allowing them to pass. Number four, when you see cars stopped at cross streets, watch the front wheels for the first hint of moving forward. If you see any, get ready to brake, yell and get the driver's attention. Number five, on a road with no shoulder, ride in the right wheel track of motor vehicles to ensure you don't blend into the scenery along the edge of that road. This also gives you three to four feet of space from the edge of that pavement to let you dodge potholes or deal with wind gusts. Number six, scan the rear windows of parked cars for someone who might suddenly pull out into your lane or throw open a door. You can also spot pedestrians about to step out in between cars. I know that's happened to me where pedestrians just kind of jumped out and I've had to slam on my brakes, I almost hit one. Number seven, when you're in a bike lane and a car is making a right turn in front of your path, don't swerve out to the left and go around them. Just slow down, stay in your lane, wait for the car to turn, then proceed. Safety first. Number eight, hold a straight line past cars that are in intermittently parallel parked. Don't weave in and out of empty spaces. Drivers might not be ready for you to suddenly reemerge into that traffic lane, so just stay there. And last, and probably the most important, wear bright clothing when you can. It's easier for a driver to see those colors than an outfit that blends into the scenery. Have you ever seen a biker out on a farm road um, or some country road and he's wearing some camouflage gear? Now, I've actually seen that. But the question is, can a car actually see it? Well, here's the nine tips. Hopefully you'll find this video useful. This is Cycling Explorer. Have a great day.